I'm outside one of Amazon's headquarters. It has thousands and thousands of employees in the campus behind me. But this isn't Seattle or London or even Dublin. This is Luxembourg. Amazon has brought thousands of employees to this country, but also not really paid taxes here either. It's become a battle between governments and companies. Today, Luxembourg is ranked as the richest country in the world. If you even look at the cars that pass by on the streets, you'll realize. And I'm here to try to understand. Why is it so rich? <laughs> This is the first country in the world to make public transportation totally free. Walking around here, it feels less like a city or country and more like, well, Disneyland. It truly is incredibly clean, organized, but I'm just fascinated by how really clean this tram system is. But don't think of this place as just a historical European country. It's an active hub for some of the world's biggest tech companies. If you hear something, it's mostly because of, uh, of tax haven or something like this. This country has a tiny population smaller than almost every single U.S. state. And yet, despite that, it's considered an economic powerhouse. There are big companies still uh, having some advantages here in Luxembourg. Living here, though, has its perks. Public transportation is for free. Your salary is better than in other countries. Healthcare is free. I went to the pharmacy. Like, everything is free. But does some of this come at a cost? Well, I would prefer that they pay the taxes in their own country, so uh, the would be better for, for equity all around the world. I'm exploring this tiny country and I want to know. Why is Luxembourg so rich? I've come to Amazon's European headquarters. And what's really interesting here is that it's almost like they're going out of their way not to be known. I mean, you don't see their logo except for one place. If you go to an Amazon bookstore, you'll see a bigger logo there. Amazon has more than 3,000 employees here at this campus, and it's planning to grow that number. And if you look at this press release, you'll see that Amazon is quite proud of the jobs that it's bringing to this country. But consider this, Amazon paid zero taxes to this country. Last year, the EU ordered Amazon to pay over $300 million in back taxes to Luxembourg. But Amazon appealed and won. And Luxembourg isn't complaining. In fact, it incentivizes companies to come and be based here for this exact reason. This place has even been called a magical fairyland for companies looking to avoid taxes. It's quite fascinating and it's quite beautiful. This is a beautiful area, I think, to, to work would be, would be beautiful. It, it amazes me though how in such a tiny country this company has so many employees. But let's be realistic here. Amazon isn't doing anything wrong. It's actually doing what the system tells it to do, which as a publicly traded company is essentially to maximize profits. And it's far from just Amazon who is here to do that. This is it. This is the Microsoft office here in Luxembourg. 10 years ago, The Guardian published this report that Microsoft avoided millions in corporate taxes through what it called a Luxembourg loophole. But hold up, if these companies are paying little or no taxes, how exactly does this country generate so much income? Well, think about it this way. If Amazon has around 4,000 employees here, imagine 4,000 people coming here every day, either living or commuting, and spending much of their wages on housing, on food, which essentially boosts the economy. Big companies still uh, having some advantages here in Luxembourg. Also for private persons, there are some advantages. Yes. So how did it get here? Well, Luxembourg has been rich long before American tech companies expanded into Europe. At the beginning, it was mostly because of our steel industry. And now, uh, let's say from the 50s, after war, so from the 50s until now, it's mostly before, uh, for services, especially financial services, uh, also insurances and investment funds. That makes the richness of Luxembourg nowadays. Fast forward to today, where everyone seems to have a high standard of living, a good salary, and good public health system. In fact, this country has the highest minimum wage in the EU. And in addition to companies setting up here for their European headquarters, you will also see many investors from Middle Eastern countries investing in real estate assets. This is truly one of the cleanest cities I've ever been to. It's right up there with Singapore and Dubai. And by all accounts, it is kind of like a Singapore or Dubai. Especially during school, it was very funny because you have people from everywhere, they be it from Germany, from France, from Portugal. So um, I find it very exciting to grow up here in Luxembourg. 
Today, Luxembourg has about 640,000 inhabitants, and every day it has a large share of people commuting from nearby countries like Germany and France. Uh, we are quite rich, yes, but it's not like in Qatar where you can see really like the richness everywhere. So here it's like more, the average salaries are very high and, and everyone's living in, like in the middle class. It is quite interesting and almost bizarre to see amidst this country, amidst a city that feels very historical, very European, almost like a, a Disney movie, and then you see this logo here. My income here is, getting, is 30 to 40 percent higher because the taxes in France are higher and the salary is lower. One, the salary is lower, so gross, I make more here, plus the taxes are higher there. The reason why I moved to Luxembourg initially is I wanted like some sort of a better work-life balance. Everything in general is more expensive, so they have to have higher salary. That I think is, in every country where you have everything that's going to be a bit more expensive, they have to have higher salaries, right? And it's no different than Luxembourg. Luxembourg is one of the countries that gives a lot of maternity leave for new mothers. They can get up to like six months of paid maternity leave. And even fathers, on top of the like four to six weeks of fully paid maternity leave, they can get like uh, six more months of also parental leave. In Luxembourg, almost all of the healthcare is public healthcare. And this is the best type of healthcare here. I went to the pharmacy, like everything is free or you get reimbursed for it. It feels incredibly weird to get on a train, tram or bus and not pay, not have to get out your cash, get out your credit card. In the coming years, Luxembourg is only going to get richer, with economists predicting it will be nicely slotted in the top slot in 2025. Other countries are losing out on tax revenue that they claim should be theirs. The European Commission regularly investigates how companies are utilizing Luxembourg's tax benefits. And as seen with the most recent Amazon case, Luxembourg continues to welcome big tech companies. Amazon is happy, but other countries and EU regulators are not. Meanwhile, President Biden is now now pushing for a global minimum tax. This would apply to all multinational corporations regardless of where they are located. He's hoping to do this so that companies like Luxembourg stop getting away with being a corporate tax haven while letting companies put their headquarters there. While I'm here, there's something else I learned. This tour guide that I interview is also a full-time nurse. He works as a nurse full-time and makes about $3,800 a month, but $2,200 a month goes toward his rent. So he's spending more than half of his salary every month on rent. And what's interesting is he said he tried to live in Spain for a little bit, but the wages were a lot less. So even though cost of living here in Luxembourg is very high, wages are obviously higher than they would be in a lot of other parts of Europe. They have to be. He tells me that despite being from here and growing up here, now it's becoming too expensive to actually live here. You still have a lot of job offers, but the thing is really real estate is getting so expensive uh, that many young people are now living on the border, so in either Germany, France or Belgium, because housing prices here are too expensive. I, I might also plan to, to go to Germany or France or Belgium because for the same price I would get like a palace over there. Here I'm living like in, like in a tiny flat. So yes, even Luxembourgers are moving out. So mostly Luxembourgers actually are moving out.